The next thing that we'll see over here is about the logical operator. And for that, I have created a one dot file logical operator dot dot. And I also have added a main function so you can just go and create the same. And let us go and create a variable first of all. I'll just say var and I'll just say each foo, which is of I'll just say equals to false. So basically, it was logical operator works on the true and false conditions. So another one is the var and I'll just say each top and we will just say as a true over here so we have a two variable one is of a true and one is of a false and then we can actually go and test it over here so i'll just say var and let's say x1 which is equal to i can just test the condition so i will just make use of a and operator over here logical and so for that we will just say uh each full which is a uh, each full and right so we will just say each full and each top so we have make use we have make use of uh, the and operator with logical and operator over here which will test for each full is true and is this a true so each full is true and if each top is true then it will return this variable will be true otherwise this will be of the false condition over here so let's try to print out over here that may be a bit confusing so over here i'll just say uh logical uh, logical we have a and operator and which will make you so far the this is the uh, and operator that we'll use and here we'll just try to print out the value of the x1 that we have and if you try to run this one You'll say logical and operator, which gets a false because this and this is a not true. So each full is false and each top is of the true. So tr false and true always returns the false over here. Right. So this is and operator. And uh, then we, if you try to make it as a true over here, well, let's say if I make it as a true over here, if you run this one you get a true because both of these conditions is a true so each false is true and each top is also true and true and true returns us the true over here but if i set it to false over here that will return us the false because uh true and uh, because the false and the true always return us the false so this is, is false is full is false and its top is true so i hope you got that one and where let's say our x2 which is of equals to we'll just say each full that we have each full or uh, this is a logical or that we can use or each top and uh, this will return us the true because it will only check for one condition of the true so here it will check for the both of the conditions should be true and so this should be true and this should be true then only it will be written as a true but here it will just check for the one so is is full is true or uh, is top is true so if this one of these is true then it will be written as the true over here so for that i'll just go and print it out over here and logical we have a logical r operator and that has of this sign operator sign and let's print out over here server x2 right so let's try to print out and then we'll see that logical r operator is of a true because either of these conditions should be true or this one or this one and here we are testing this and this so first and second both of need to be of a true here either one so either this is full or is stop is true then set this variable as a true and we'll actually go and use this in the other logical testing like uh, we have other other way to test it out but here i'm just make showing you how we can actually use this one but later when you build up the application there will be a different condition to test so that will be more if in the if condition that we are using so that will be more better to understand for now just understand that the and operator is testing the both of these conditions should be of a true but in the or operator we just need to find one condition is a true then 
said that will return as the true. So another one is of the not operator. So not logical, not operator. So for that, I'll just say var x3 and uh, which is of equal to, I'll just say not. If not, uh, h4. So that should return as the if not, right? So if not full, that is a false. Uh, let me just make it a stop. So I think that should be better. And then I'll just go and print out over here. And we we'll just say, okay, say logical not, right? Logical not uh, operator. And that will make use of the not sign over here for the explanation mark. And for that, we'll just go and print out our variable, which is of the x3. And just run this one. So here you get the logical not operator to be false. Here it's actually testing that if, if, if not true, right? So, but this is true. So this is written as the false. But if we test it to the if uh, it's uh, if, uh, not, right? So not not false right so that should return as the true so here if it said it's full yeah that is written as the true over there so it may be a bit difficult for you to understand but uh, you can see that not operator just checks for if it's not full yet yeah, it's not full right false so that's why it's written true over there and if if we set it to each stop that will return as the false so it's each full false so if it is check not full right so that is true it is not full because it is has a value of the false so it is full no it has a false so it just checks for the not full not is full so that is that is true right so it will just return as the true over here uh you can just go and try it out but when we actually use like if as condition that it will be like more better and more clear to understand but for now you can just go and practice it how we can make use of the logical operator we have an and logical and operator logical or operator and the logical not operator so it should be of a not operator over here